What's up guys, this is Derek with Got Tech Reviews. Here we're going to have a little unboxing of the XFX RX480 8GB card. Uh, as you can see here, the box is a beautiful black box. There's no robots on it, no lasers, anything like that. It's just a simple box. Um, I think it's the simpleness makes it nice. Opening the box now, I'm going to pull out the bo inner box here, which I was expecting just the top to be open, but it's not. There's actually a nice closed lid on it. And if you look here, you can see that there is an embossed, if I get my finger lined up right, there's an embossed FXX logo, which is pretty nice. I think that's a pretty neat deal on there. It shows just a little more class, if you ask me. Once you open the top box, there is a little inner box here that you can pull out. At first I thought it was empty until I gave it a little shake and I noticed there was something inside. When you open it, you see there's a dual Molex to six pin connector adapter, which makes you think, who doesn't have a six pin adapter or a connector on their power supply nowadays. But either way, there's one in there if you need it. Uh, picking the box up, now you see the coup de gras, the actual Radeon itself, the RX-40 itself inside the anti-static bag that it comes in. A little different anti-static bag than normal. Uh, it comes with some instructions inside, installation guide. It's got all your instructions on what adapters you need. Uh, gives you a place where you can order adapters, active HDMI, active stuff. If you look closely right here, XFX actually leaked the image of their AIB card of the RX 480, which made me kind of laugh. Uh, there's also a driver disc, like always. What are you going to do, have a graphics card with no driver? Now you see the bag that the RX 480 comes in. It's not really an anti-static bag, more of a plastic bag, but either way it works. It does the job. Let's pull this out here. Uh, cut gone through the plastic there. Uh, first thing you'll see is the actual how kind of matte the, the card is. I touched it and left some marks. And then you'll also see there's some port covers on here. There's for the pin connector, there's some covers on it there. Now you'll see the back plate. Uh, really nice back plate. I was quite impressed at the back plate on this card. As you can see, it's a full length back plate. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty sturdy too. It's almost like a hard plastic. I thought maybe it was metal at first, but it, it's actually plastic. It's got some graphics on here that say the RX 480 tuned by XFX. Turn it over here. You're going to see there's also port covers in the display ports. Uh, there's your exhaust fan vent. Then you got the Radeon logo on the side, Radeon logo on the other side. Too bad those don't light up with LED. You've got your single six pin connector, which I wish they would have put an eight pin connector, but maybe on the AIB cards, I'm sure they'll use eight pin connectors. I'm looking at it some more. It's quite a beautiful card, if you ask me. It's simplistic, but yet gets the job done. There's no complaints there, right? Uh, another view at the back plate. I think it's pretty neat the way you can see the, the supports for the cooling system on the card, which is not really the greatest, but hey, it works for now. A uh, little heft to this card. Quite heavy, actually, for as small as it is. I think that's mostly all due to the cooling system. Anyways, I'm Derek with Got Tech Reviews, and like we say, if you got tech, let's talk about it.